Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. I'm going to show you a lawn that's got a lot of weeds in it and I'm going to spray it with two products at the same time mixed together and we're going to show you the results and show you what a great combination this is for cleaning up the weeds in your lawn without actually killing the grass. Let's get started with that right now. Hey, right, here's the lawn. This is a zoysia lawn and it looks uh, fairly good from a distance but if you get down close you'll actually see there are a lot of weeds in here and these are some tough weeds this is a little little flower that's called field matter i think this one is called penny wart but i'm not 100 percent sure it looks like a little lily pad you got some uh you know all kind of stuff in here I, here's a um wild geranium and some of these will die out uh as, as the weather gets hot and some of them are not so what we're going to try to do is to spray this and and kill these weeds now you got some tough ones here this is dallas grass it's going to be a, a real tough one the, the product i'm using will have some activity on it this is uh yellow wood sorrel or oxalis so anyway we're going to spray this lawn and see what happens and track it and i want to show you the products i'm using show you uh, me spraying the lawn and then we're going to come back and show you the results and see show you how we can kill these weeds without actually damaging the lawn and that's the whole idea anybody can spray the lawn and kill everything but we're trying to kill the weeds and not the grass all right whenever you spray and you want to follow the label obviously and, and wear your ppe so i've got rubber gloves rubber boots long sleeve shirt, long pants, and the two products I'm gonna be using today make a great combination for warm season grasses, okay? For Bermuda, Zoysia, St. Augustine, Centipede. Um, we use these a lot, and this is Celsius and Certainty, and they both come with a little, I'll let you get a little closer look of them. Um, that what's great about these products is, is they, the combination of them um, is, is, is fairly safe on your lawn as far as not um, causing damage to the lawn even as the weather gets hotter which is great it can be used on most types of warm season turf which is great and it, its combination will work on sedges as well as broadleaf weeds as well as grassy weeds so it's an awesome combination that a lot of people use so uh, i'm gonna show you you know when you're mixing them i just got like a two gallon sprayer now this is not something i'm going to normally put in a big tank and spray over the whole yard because i get a little pricey just to be honest with you so you can use a backpack sprayer and this is a combination i'm going to use a lot of times to spot treat for weeds celsius comes with a little measuring cap and again it's going to tell you the rates on here or uh my uh, rep gave me one of these cool my bear rep gave me a cool measuring spoon which i prefer over the cap um, and i put two of these scoops in two gallons of water and then spray it lightly okay now if you spray heavy you're going to want to use less but just check out the rates and mix it accordingly and then for celsius i'm sorry if that was celsius for certainty it also comes with a little measuring uh, spoon and i put two of those uh in two gallons of water and spray it lightly okay but again i'm spray I'm, you'll see i'm just kind of misting it I'm not uh, getting, you know, spraying it till it's extremely wet. So that's what I've got mixed up in a two gallon sprayer. I'll put these uh, links in the description if you're looking at the products or sprayer, things like that, so you can check those out. Um, let's spray the grass. And then like I said, we'll come back and show you the results in this video. Hey, we may not kill every weed. I don't think we're gonna knock the Dallas get grass out on the first application, but hopefully it can uh, put, you know, slow it down and it take multiple applications for something like that but hopefully we're going to be able to knock out a lot of these other weeds including some of like the poa poa annual and stuff like that it's going to be going away soon with the heat but this combination is great for poa as well so let's get to spraying All right, so I finished the application and I'm gonna come back and check on the results and we'll show you how well it works. So it's been about four days since our initial application on this zoysia lawn and we applied 
Celsius and Certainty, a great combination for warm season grasses. And the grass has been cut since the application, but we should be able to look in here and see, is there any initial results after four days? Now we're not coming to our final conclusion after four days. We just wanna see what's happened and then we're gonna keep checking on it. So let's take a look at the lawn. Now you can see as it's mowed, the lawn, you know, from a distance looks great, okay? As you get down here close, you're gonna see that dichondra weed, I believe is what it's called, is a tough one. Now, it doesn't mean it's not gonna die. It's just not really showing a lot of effects right now. Uh, I think that's gonna be a tough weed and it may be a weed where we need to use a different product. So, um, there, and there's a lot of that in, in here. So we'll see how well that works. But what about some of the other weeds? You can see some of this is you're getting some discoloration on these um, on some of these plants. Looks like some yellow wood sorrel, some oxalis is not not doing so good. So uh, a lot of weeds in here. You know, even weeds like this. I think this is like a mature cudweed plant. Um, this one I, I just know from my own experience is slow to die. So again, I'm not saying it's it's not gonna die. I think it probably will die. I just think it's going to be slow. You got weeds like uh, field matter here that may be a little slow to die. So honestly, after a few days, again, we're not making our final judgment. I see some discoloration on some of these weeds. You see how there's there's a yellowish tint to, to these weeds. Um, and then a lot of things, there's not really much discoloration at all. Like I said, on the, on the dichondra, that looks... Looks pretty healthy, so I'll be interested to see over the next week or so do we see anything happen to that at all. I don't have any doubt that we're going to see results on the lawn and continue to see, you know, more and more things die. Now, here's some stuff that looks like, I don't know if maybe I sprayed it a little bit heavier, but definitely seeing some results on some of these weeds. Now, it's probably just a little bit different kind of weed, just to be honest with you. That looks like some uh, purple dead nettle which is a cool season weed that's not gonna be around too much longer anyway. And you can see where you had some cool season grass in here that's getting taken a, a beating from the Celsius certainty combination. So some things are really showing some effect. And what I like to see too is you see still good green color. Now you're saying, Jason, that's not that green. Well, yeah, there, it, we're still in April. There's still a lot of, you know, dormant grass in here. and thatch from the last year and stuff like that so don't judge that i'm looking at the actual stuff that is green and i don't see any discoloration from the application that was my point so we'll check back in a few days and continue the video and see uh, how it progresses so it's been about six days since the initial application on this lawn we're going to take a look at it and see how the weeds are doing and see what's working and what's not working okay so here's the lawn Again, just it looks great when it's been mowed, but we can get down here and see what is dying and what's not dying. And I'll tell you, it looks like we're gonna have to find another solution for this particular weed because it's not dying. Okay, and I, again, I think that's dichondra. If you know what it's called, if it's something else, let me know. Also, if you know a product that will control it, I would like to hear that. I've got some things in mind I can try, um, but so far it does not look like our combination of products is doing very well. Now, that's on that weed, but that's not to say that it's not working at all because it most certainly is. You can see a lot of uh, discoloration in this part of the lawn. You see here, it's just uh, stuff that, that is definitely, definitely taking its toll on some of these weeds. So it really looks like uh, let me see if I can find some others, you know, but like you said, that, that dichondra's not dying. And honestly, that was probably the biggest weed problem in the lawn. So it's not one I, I deal with a lot or see a lot. So it may be a situation where you do one application to clean up the majority of the weeds like we're doing. And then you, if you have a tough weed that hangs in there after that, you have to figure out what you need to use to control that particular weed. So, you know, again, here's some, some weeds you can see and just see all this stuff dying now that's not a good example here it makes it easy to see the weeds dying um, but this is kind of a bare spot in the lawn so don't think that it's killing the grass because you can see here 
the grass is is not really been discolored at all that a little bit of brown that's in here that's just um, where the the grass is not turned fully green yet you can see you know that's just we're still in springtime it's not fully greened up from winter we actually got down close to freezing last night and then lastly looking at these grassy weeds and we're going to come back and check on this lawn again but you can see here um, it, these are going to be slower to die but this celsius certainty combination is very good on grassy weeds they're just going to take a little bit longer so no doubt it's definitely working um, and we're going to come back and check on it again before we wrap up the video and then we'll uh, see what we can figure out hopefully for dichondra what we need to do to get that out of this lawn Let's take one final look at the lawn. It's probably been a week and a half since the initial application. Let's check out the weeds that died and see what we can learn from this video. So here's the lawn. Still doesn't have a great color to it. Probably gonna put some fertilizer on it soon to help it uh, green up. And with the warmer weather, we, we got down pretty cold last week, close to freezing. So warmer weather and fertilizer will do this yard wonders. Uh, big bare spot definitely needs to fill in. So let's take a look at the weeds and, and see what happened. One thing I'm not overly excited about is, is this weed here that, that really was the primary weed. And it, honestly, it didn't do a whole lot for that, the, the Celsius uncertainty. So I'm probably going to need another product. I, I might have to do a little research on that. Blindside would be a product that I might consider trying uh, in this situation. So. You know, ignore that. We learned that Celsius and Certainty Wild is a fantastic combination for warm season grasses and one of my absolute favorite combination. Does not kill Dichondra, if they're even uh, getting the name of that weed right. And that's just a, a difficult weed to control. So, uh, but one, honestly, I don't see that often. But what about the other weeds? Let's see what else happened. All right, so I had to come on here and see where I could find some weeds. And you can see there, it, it's not like, totally evaporating the weeds right now i mean we could probably drag this video out and come back and look at it two weeks later and these will continue turning brown but it's definitely taking its toll on on the weeds so it's working as the grass starts filling in these weeds are going to continue to turn more and more brown and be replaced by you know the actual turf grass and that's what happens sometimes you end up with so much competition from the weeds that your your turf grass can't you know do as, as good as as you would hope for here's some more examples of where it's you know all this stuff is turning brown you got some areas that are more brown than others um, but without dragging the video out unnecessarily long I, I do think it is a very effective combination again about the only weeds I see in the yard that are not effective we can just kind of scroll down through here whereas a lot of this field matter kind of see you know pretty much all this field matter is turning brown and I think will continue to die um, as a result of the herbicide application you know you, you, we got a good combination that works on a lot of weeds didn't didn't get all the weeds we have to figure out something else to control that um, but what I like about Celsius and certainty combined is it, it works on broadleaf weeds works on grassy weeds works on uh, sedges it's useful for uh, bermuda zoysia centipede st augustine lines it's, it's just a very versatile effective combination but anyway in certain situations you end up running across weed where a product doesn't control it and you have to do a little research and figure out what will control it if you know what will control dichondra please leave it in the comments below i would like to know and i do appreciate you watching if you would uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video there's hundreds more on the channel if you're in the lawn business or thinking about starting one, go over to LawnCareLife.com and check out the resources available for you there. Talk to you guys later. Bye.